Hello, 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 and welcome. You're now tuned into Lady Scorpius Tarot. I'm your host, Lady Scorpius. I decided to do something different today. Um, I decided to play a little bit of 432 meditation music behind my video because it's very calming and relaxing, and it's going to heal you guys. It's for DNA repair, relaxation, meditation. I have my holy wood. I'm going to be staging my Dorian Virtue love deck, because I'm going to be doing a love reading today for Libra, Sun, Rising, and Venus for the month of May 2018. I'm going to be clarifying with my Sacred Symbols deck. I'll be clarifying the energies for Libra with that, so we're going to get into it. Um, if my messages resonate with you, please leave a comment. Let me know what's going on. Um, also, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate it. I appreciate all the new viewers and all the new likes, share, and subscribes that I have been receiving. It really means a lot to me, you guys. I really appreciate everything that you guys have been um, showing me. Like, all the love you guys have been showing me, all the support you guys have been showing me. That's my beautiful shell that I'm using to meditate, you know, and cleanse out the energies for Libra. So, let's get in right into it. Let's get right into it. All right, Libra, so let's see what's going on for y'all for the month of May. Right. And this is for my Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of May 2018. Universal Creator, Spirit of God, Son of Masters. Ooh. All right, you guys, I need to get a really good shuffle before I just let cards fly out. I know how I rock. But yes, Universal Spirit, Creator, Spirit of God, Son of Masters. I'm here, Angel. My ancestors, please come through for the sign of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and give me messages of love for my Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of May 2018. I ask you to give me messages of love, light, and clarity for all my Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of May 2018. What messages can you show me for my Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of May 2018? Okay. Oof. Okay. One more card from my son, Moon Rising. Mean is Libras for the month of May 2018 in love. Messages can you show me for love for my Libras? Some Moon Rising and Venus in love, Universal Spirit. I ask you to give me messages out of love, light, and clarity. So we can guide my Libras through the month of May 2018. Oh, okay. Okay, Libra, let's get into it. Overall energy. Is the honeymoon. So some of my Libras is definitely going to be taking a vacation or a trip. Um, getting away with your loved one. Or maybe you've been desiring to get away with your loved one. Maybe that's needed at this critical time for May. Um, I do see my Libras getting away on a honeymoon. Um, going on some type of adventure across waters. With the partner that they're you know interested in. Or in a relationship with the, at this time. Or it could be with somebody that you're interested in. But you're not. You're not in a partnership with them just yet, but you guys want to enjoy your holiday time and bliss together to see what things go and may lead to. Um, one second. Put my phone on vibrate. <laughs> All right, so let's get into it. For the first card, you have calling in your soulmate, my Libra. Calling in your soulmate. Second card, we have deception, deception. Mm. Third card we have is let your friends help you. So just from looking at these cards, Libra, I really feel like you guys have been trying to ask for the universe or the creator, whatever you want to call um, God, so to speak, or the angels. You've been asking for a sign from the creator himself to send you somebody that's meant for your soul. You guys have been in a situation where you've been feeling like you've been in a partnership or a love, have a love interest or in a partnership where you feel like things are not quite where you want them to be. Um, maybe your partner doesn't align quite with your soul. And so you have been searching for a sign. You've been asking the universe, hey, is this my soulmate? Is this the soul partner for me? Or is it someone better for me that I can actually call in? And I really feel like you guys have been just asking for your prayers to have been answered. You guys have been dreaming about the perfect mate or how you want your partnerships and love to be. You guys have been visualizing things. You guys have been 
saying positive affirmations. And I really feel like some of my Libras have been just kind of like almost psyching themselves into thinking that the partner that they're with is their soulmate. But with the deception card coming right in, I feel like the person that you're kind of with, for some of my Libras, the person that you're with, you might have thought this was your soulmate. But this person is wearing a false mask. This person has a lot of deception behind them. It could be even you, Libra, that's been having some deception within y'all love relationships. But I really feel like with you calling in your soulmate at the beginning that the reason why the deception has came because you don't have that soulmate connection like you thought you had. But you have been asking the universe to bring in your soulmate. You've been asking for your prayers to, been asked, to be answered. Um, I do see that. It is some deception going on within a relationship with Libras. Um, maybe your partner has been lying to you about some things or seeing multiple people behind your back. Might have been out partying and doing some things without your consent or without your knowledge. But someone is definitely wearing some type of false mask and lying within this relationship. When you look at the deception card, it's like a man or a woman that's wearing a false mask. And... They're acting like they're so saint and they're so sweet and they're so loyal, but behind that mask, they're not right. Mentally, they might be fucked up or they might be doing things that mentally they know is not right. But I do see with the two other people here that this can also be a third party situation for some of my Libras. Maybe you might be dealing with another person or you might be coupled with a person, a partner um, that has another person that they're seeing on the side. But they've been hiding it because everyone has masks on. So you don't even know these two people, Libra, that your partner has been seeing behind your back. But it's like with these two people that's wearing masks and deceptions, your partner can possibly have been talking to multiple people or it could have been you talking to multiple people. But I do see on both parties, I do see more so on the, your partner, Libra, that your partner has been holding some type of deception or lying to you and being deceitful about some people or a person or thing what i really believe is with um for my libra woman your, your male partner has been talking to another woman i'm sorry to say that but that's what i've been sensing for some of my libras not for all but for some most of my libras you guys have been dealing with this or it can be you cheating around and messing with another partner with your male or i also see some of my libras messing with men and women and that's not for all, but some of my Libras are bisexual. You know, I'm not I'm not going to sit there and judge. It's no judge zone. But for some of my Libras that's bisexual, you have been dealing with man and woman, and you have not been telling your partner that. But I do really seem like feel like it's for my Libras in general that your partner has also been wearing a false mask and being deceptive within this relationship. And you've been asking your friends for help. You feel like somebody has been deceptive within this relationship and you have been reaching out to your friends to ask them for help and support to guide you through the process to see if you're wrong for thinking the way you are thinking or are you wrong for having some type of, you know, weird notion about what's going on. With the honeymoon card, I wouldn't even be surprised if your partner is traveling to go see another person and they're lying to you about it because with the deception card coming in and the honeymoon coming card coming in if you've been calling in your soulmate and you want your soulmate to come towards you either your soulmate can be traveling to see you or you might have a partner that's leaving to go see another person with the honeymoon card and that's just what i see i mean for my libras but we're going to go in, into it and clarify with my um my new beautiful deck my sacred symbols deck so beautiful i love this deck it called me it said, Lady Scorpius, your tarot channel needs this. And let me pause because somebody is loud with their car and I do not like that. Sorry about that, y'all. I had to do a quick pause because we got some construction people outside of my neighborhood fixing the parking lot. And their vehicles was awfully loud. But we're going to get right into it. So we're going to clarify why the deception card is here because I really want, and, and the honeymoon card. I really want to know, like, what's been going on and why you have to call in your soulmate. What's been going on? We'll see with the deception card first. So, Universal Spirit Creators and the Master of Spiritual Guides, Angels, Ancestors, please clarify the deception card for my Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of May 2018. Why is the deception card here? What's been going on? Who's this going to be deceitful within my Libras? Sun, Moon, ooh, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of May 2018. Please can't find the deception card. Why is the deception card here? Why is the deception card here for my leader? So I'm about to be raised for the month of May 2018. Ask me if you need to know. Okay. Oop. 
All right. Breakthrough. It's going to be a major breakthrough happening, Libra. Wow. This popped out right after breakthrough groundedness. So, I feel like with this deception card, you know that your partner has been deceptive. And you also know that you might have been also seeing without having a, you want, if you call in a soulmate labor, I feel like you have been out there talking to different people, mingling, might have been just being casually, just like conversation with somebody because you feel like your soulmate can possibly be out there and you just have to put the action and energy towards finding this person. Because you feel like the partner that you with right now is quite deceptive and this person might not be the partner that you you called in. Might not be your sole partner that you thought that you had, you know, Libra. But with the breakthrough card, I really feel like you're going to be going through a spiritual transformation. You're going to be breaking through the deception. You're going to be breaking through relationships and love that no longer serves you at your highest potential. I want to clarify and read. I just want to read a message of the breakthrough card because this deck is truly beautiful and powerful. And I need my Libras to understand because you've been asking your friends for help to guide you through the situation to see if you're right for the way you feel or how should you move within a situation? Should you break through and break free or should you stay within this relationship? But I really feel what with the deception card and you calling your soulmate and things are not really... Your prayers haven't been answered when it comes to love, okay? And so you've been calling in more prayers and things to get better within your love life. Calling in your true partner, your true soulmate, the partner that you can see yourself marrying. With that being said, let me tell you what this breakthrough about. Breakthrough is a miracle. It's divine. It's the end of stagnation, Libra. A turning point to a change or your answers that you've been seeking is now here. Called in your soulmate, you've been asking for your prayers to be answered. So this is your breakthrough. Universe is pushing you through this breakthrough and showing you the way. The universe is showing you like, hey, if you feel there's been deception in your relationship and you feel like this is not your true soulmate, this person has not been giving you the same offer of love that you've been giving them, it is time to break free and break through. You're going through a transformation, a spiritual time in your life, Libra. And with that being said, this is a turning point for you. This is a new awakening for you. This is a change. An answer to your prayers. Time for you to start fresh within love and romance and move on. To things that's more fulfilling because you, you have a soulmate out there and you have not been able to connect with the soulmate because you've been staying in this deceptive relationship for a long time libra and it's time for you to move forward with this and it's not for all my all my libras but for the ones that's going through that this resonating with this is for you okay changes are coming the changes that you have been seeking are now here you need to meditate on this symbol when you're feeling stuck unsure on which way to go or having a block Okay, you've been asking for your friends to help you with things and actually you've been asking for advice to see, you know, which way you should move within a situation. But honestly, you can ask your friends all you want, but intuitively and spiritually, you know, which you know, this is not best for your soul and you know which way you need to go and what direction you need to move forward in. And you, you know, you need to move on because this is a new cycle. It's like a cycle that's chap a chapter that's closing for a new cycle to begin and open with you, Libra, which is a beautiful thing. Because you've been through hell and back. I can see it all in this. That you've been through a lot. And there's no more stagnation. You're about to move forward to being grounded. You're about to become stable. You're about to become in your power again. You're about to just start focusing on being grounded with your finances, your money, your career, your family. Like if you have children, Libra, you're about to start focusing more on you, yourself and your child. And I see you guys just been feeling like confused lately, but now it's time to get out of the feeling of feeling aloof and blind to what's going on. It's time for you to take the rose color glasses off and have your breakthrough, the inner stagnation, Libra, because I feel like you has been you guys have been feeling with the ground in this card. The universe is telling you to stay grounded and be grounded because you guys haven't been grounding yourself lately. You've been probably been out too much, all over the place, aloof, stagnant. One minute you're confused and you know, almost feel like you just coming and going and you're not in your right sense of mind but with the grounded card coming in it's like you need to get back to nature you need to stay grounded and focus on yourself and, and another way you can stay grounded is by meditation you can do yoga start working with crystals start lighting your sage and cleansing yourself go out into your backyard if you got a backyard take off your shoes and walk on the ground plant your feet there for a good 15-20 minutes and ground yourself 
even if you sit down on your bottom, Indian style, sit up, you know, you can ground yourself. But with the grounding, it's like you have been feeling ground. You have been feeling confused, spacey, unable to focus. Your energy has been scattered, Libra. And this because of this relationship that you've been going through has been having your mind to feel scattered. This love interest that you've been partnered with for a while now has been having you feel scattered for a while. And your physical energy has all also been affected by this too. You might be feeling low of energy, just feeling real low, you know, feeling like you just need a, a charge, a battery charge, something new in your life. But it's time for you to fully connect with your body and your intuition, mind, body, and soul, and do what's best for your spiritual healing, okay? It's time to reconnect with your physical body and the connection of earth. Meditation, being outdoors, moving around, plant some trees, plant some vegetables, do whatever you can do to feel more grounded, but it will definitely help you. But the best thing I can say to, to feel more grounded is to break through and break free from any situations that's been having you feeling stagnant, confused through deception because you know somebody has been lying to you for a long time and your partner has not been faithful to you i'll say what i say and that's because i feel strongly about this libra and you have been asking your friends about this you have been asking but you have the full moon i mean a new moon coming in so you have a new cycle that's coming in for you libra you have changes and i feel like for my libra women you're going to step into your goddess in this new beginning that you're going to leave this breakthrough is going to help you change and return to your goddess state of mind you're going to have a, a cycle that's being ended so you can come back into your power, Libra. I swear, Libra, when y'all when y'all scales are balanced, you are such a beautiful soul. Libras, you guys are a peacemaker, but at the same time, you don't take no shit. And you're balanced, but when you're off balance, it's like you're all over the place. It's like sometimes your, ass, your asses can't sit down and focus on what you need to focus on and actually see the things that's happening in front of your face because you're all over the place. It confuses you. But this is a beautiful message that you're about to have a major breakthrough in May. I really feel like towards the end of May, you guys are going to start to realize that you're starting to see things for what it is in your love life. And you're going to cut the cord of soul ties and things that does not serve you at your highest state of mind. And you're going to have a breakthrough and you're going to get to your groundedness. You're going to start meditating, get back to your spirituality and getting back to who you are within yourself. And you have a, a new wave that's coming. You know, I'm going to call this video the new wave that's coming in love. You know, come, and honestly, it's for yourself. It's self-healing. I see healing and transformations for my Libras, okay? You have a new cycle coming in. And I just want to read you guys what this book says about the new moon. It's a new beginning, like I said. New cycle, new beginning changes, a fresh, start, a fresh start to love. Your soulmate will be coming in. But in order for your soulmate to come in, Libra, you really have to cut the cord with this situation that's been deceptive for years, okay? And, but this is a new time to start new projects, new jobs for you to focus on your grounding, your career, your money and finances and let go of things that's no longer serving you and focus on the things that you need to do to improve yourself and become back at your best state. Um, but this new moon is going to bring you a new energy into your life, a new transformation. Okay. You need to write down your intentions. You need to start writing down your dreams, your goals, your aspirations. And you need to focus on those things because those things are going to bring changes of peace and clarity and just a sense of renewal in your life you're going to actually be able to move on from the deception and this love life that was no that was draining you you know you're gonna be able to move on from the, those this situation as a new man a new woman Libra. and with the goddess coming in this is the fine the divine feminine is present right now around you for my Libra woman or my Libra men, you can have a divine feminine energy around you for my Libra men and women. And if you've been feeling a lack of that in your life, this is more geared to my females. If you've been feeling like a lack of feminacity into your life, like you don't feel more feminine. You haven't been feeling sexy. You haven't been fe feeling feminine. You haven't felt like you've been at your female power. You're going to rise back to that. And the only reason why you haven't been feeling like that is because you have been dealing with a partner that has been deceptive and has been blocking you from seeing yourself of who you truly are, how beautiful you truly are, Libra. And you're going to step back into your feminine power and your feminine energy. This is going to be a time that you're going to find your balance. And you need to request this feminine energy. You need to go back into your feminine energy. You need to ask the creator to bring you back into the womanhood that you once had. 
the feminine, sexy Libra, and that's smart, that's balanced, that has focus, that has drive. Okay, you're not gonna let nobody throw you off your balance no more, Libra. With this God is coming in, with this new moon and this God is energy and this breakthrough that you're about to have, and this groundedness that you're about to find. You're no longer gonna let anybody knock you off your scales. You are the balance, out of, the most balanced out of the zodiac. You understand? So with that being said, you have the opportunity to come back into your power and step back into your divine feminine energy. Okay? You. This card also represents that your mother is around you, Libra. That's going to heal you through this transformation of change and love. Your mother is also, you have a feminine energy of your mom or your grandmother that's around you that understands what you're going through emotionally through love. And they're going to be here to, to guide you through this and give you a feminine energy of healing and transformation. They're not going to judge you, okay? They're here to love you and guide you through this healing process, this change in love that you're going through, okay? Your mother is a powerful woman. For my Libras that has their mom in their life, your mother's very powerful. And she's coming to heal you and give you some mother some mother healing through this change of this new cycle that you're going through with love, Libra. So, I mean, I really, really hope that my messages resonated with you, Libra, and I really, really hope that you guys can really break through of uh, this this deceptive relationship that you've been in for a while and just go ahead and move on to the new you. You deserve it. You deserve to call in your soulmate. You deserve to have your soulmate, you know, come forth. And you will have the end of strife. This is the end of strife. This is the end of your pain. This is the end of your worries. This is the end of you feeling like you're with a you're in a stormy situation with a partner that's unquieted and things are not changing. Things will not get better. You keep repeating the same cycles. You keep going through stormy waters. But with this end of strife coming in, your soulmate is right around the corner, but in order for you to get this and receive this new abundance of love, you have to end the strife with this partner that's been causing you hell. Mentally feeling like trapped, elusive, confused, chaotic, up, down. One minute I feel like you, you high and then you low in your emotions, but it's time to let it go, Libra. Let it go, okay? So I am your host, Lady Scorpius, and you're now turning to Lady Scorpius Tarot. I really hope that my message has resonated with you today. If you'd like a personal reading, please email me. I'll leave all that information in my description box below. Also, you may reach me on Instago for my iPhone users. They're working on getting um, Android users on there too. So one, once I get that information on when Android users can follow me on Instago as well, I'll update you guys with that. But for now... You can also email me and I'll get right back to you just as fast as Instagram. Um, please check out my prices if you like to. I'll change that up as well. And I really, really hope you guys have a really major breakthrough for the month of May. And things just work out really, really wonderful for you guys. Um, I wish you all the best of luck. I love you all. Thank you for all the likes, shares, subscribes. And the support that you guys have been showing me. I'm almost at 200 subscribers, y'all. This means a lot to me. It really do because I started off like I think I just I've been doing YouTube now for like what two two months so this going on to my third month and I'm already at almost 200 subscribers so I really appreciate it when I get to 1,000 subscribers that's when I'm really gonna be proud of myself and that's when I'm really going I really want to do something special I did do a giveaway for y'all but nobody took the giveaway for whatever reason but it's okay I guess everybody's busy and they don't have time to really check up on like stuff like that, but, because I understand, because I'm not really a big social media person, but, um, yeah, I'm sorry, I'm rambling off, Libras, I'm rambling off, but anyway, I love y'all, stay tuned to, um, I have wrapped up everybody reading now, so I might just go ahead and do just general energies, three card spread, general energies for, um, air signs, water signs, earth signs, and fire signs, just break it into categories and just use only my deck, because this deck is powerful. Okay, I'm just going to do overall energies for everybody for the month. I'm going to try something different. Um, yeah, I'm working on doing some new spreads and stuff, y'all. But bear with me. I have a lot of stuff going on in my life right now. And I can't find enough time in the day. I got to revamp, reorganize, and everything. So just bear with me. But I love you guys once again. Thanks for tuning in. And I really wish y'all the best of luck and love in May. See y'all.